थिंग डिटेक्शन सो ईच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन कंटेन अ स्मॉल पैराग्राफ फॉलोड बाय अ क्वेश्चन ऑन इट सो वी हैव अ स्मॉल पैराग्राफ ऑफ थ्री टू फोर लाइन्स सो रीड ईच पैराग्राफ केयरफुली एंड आंसर दी क्वेश्चन गिवन बिलो ना क्वेश्चन नंबर वन दी अटेनमेंट ऑफ इंडिविजुअल अटेनमेंट मीन्स अचीविंग ऑफ इंडिविजुअल एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन गोल इज म्यूचुअली इंटर डिपेंडेंट इंटर डिपेंडेंट मीन्स डिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर एंड लिंक्ड बाय अ कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर इंप्लॉय वर्क मोटिवेशन सो इंप्लॉय विल बी मोटिवेटेड टू वर्क दिस इज दी मेन लिंक बिटवीन इंप्लॉय एंड दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल मेंबर्स आर मोटिवेटेड टू सेटिस्फाई देयर पर्सनल गोल so all the employees are motivated to satisfy their personal goal whatever you have a personal goal maybe you want to buy a car you want to buy a house or uh, whatever the personal goals are and they contribute their effort to the attainment of organizational objective as means of achieving their personal goal so ultimately the employee put their best effort in the organization so that the organizational objectives the the target of company or target of organizations are fulfilled and that will ultimately lead to to achieving their personal goal so here we are talking about in this in this 3 to 4 lines in this paragraph is about the motivation of the employee who is working in the organization and his main objective is to achieve the personal goal and he looks at say if i want to uh, say buy a car this is my personal goal okay for that i need money and how i will get the money i will get the money if i get a good salary and how the good salary will come the good salary will come when the company will achieve their target they will have the more profit if i will do good work company will achieve good profit they will give me the good salary and due to that good salary i will get my car so ultimately my personal goal will be achieved when i put best effort in the company and company perform well i will get good salary and i will get my personal goal fulfilled so the passage best support the statement that motivation first a encourages an individual to give priority to personal goal over organization goal so yes to some extent individual motivation is what motivation here is that an individual has to give priority to personal goal if he will give the priority to personal goal if i have to achieve my personal goal if i have to buy a car over the organizational goal say this project has to be completed in in time so ultimately if i don't have a personal goal if i will not put it on top of everything so i will not achieve this organizational goal so this is what it is talking about this statement that a personal goal is more important for employee and to achieve that he sees that he can only make his personal goal achieved by contributing more to the company so this looks good let's see the other motivation is crucial for survival of individual and organization no even if the motivate even if individual is not motivated some individuals are not motivated organization can still survive there are some good people there are some people who are not doing enough so because of those people who are not doing enough so it doesn't mean that company will die down company will will close no it doesn't happen so company will try its best to replace those people who does not do well and then it will survive and similarly individual will survive even if the company closed so they will look for other option they can go join another company so this doesn't look good c so motivation is the product of an individual's physical and mental energy so this statement does not talk about physical or mental energy so we don't know whether motivation what factors are there in the motivation so physical and mental is of course is not part of discussion in this in this uh, paragraph so this is also not true motivation is the external force which induces an individual to contribute his effort no there is no external 
force here. So motivation has a personal goal. So this is not an external factor. It's that uh, a country will do well or something like that. That is an external factor. Or society will grow. So that is an external factor. So here we are not talking about that. So motivation is because of personal. My, my motivation depends on my personal goal. So there is no external force. And motivation makes organization and society inseparable. So there is no discussion about society. It's only talking about organization and its employees. So there is nothing about society. So the answer A is the best answer. The answer is D, A. Now let's see the second paragraph. Due to enormous profit involved in smuggling, Hundreds of persons have been attracted towards this anti-social activity. Smuggling is a is an anti-social activity. And why the people are attracted towards it? Due to enormous profit. There is a lot of profit here. Some of them become millionaire overnight. In the overnight, they become millionaire. They earn a good money. India has a vast coastline both of, both of eastern and western coast. Okay. So, so he is talking about that the uh, smuggling is basically happening on the coastal line maximum. So that's why he is talking about the a vast coastline both of eastern and western coast. It has been a heaven for smugglers who have been carrying on their activities with great impunity. Impunity means exemption without punishment. Exemption without punishment. So the smugglers uh, are exempted means they get off. They don't get. Uh, they don't get the punishment. So this is no. There is no doubt that from. Time to time certain seizures were made by the enforcement authorities during raids and ambush. But even allowing these losses, the smugglers made huge profit. So even if there is a some, some raids by the enforcement authority, they capture these smuggling goods. But that is a small loss for the smugglers. But still they make huge profit even allowing these losses. So they neglected. Okay, so in raid some 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 smuggling stuff has been seized by the enforcement authority, but that is a small loss. So still they make good profit. So this is talking about that smuggling is uh, a lot of people are attracted towards smuggling because they get a huge profit. Yes, authorities are somewhat doing it, but that is not good enough. That is not sufficient to stop these smugglers because their profit is so large. So the passage best supports the statement that smuggling hampers the economic development of a nation. So it's only talking about smuggling, the profit of the smugglers and there is some raid. Some enforcement directives are working on it. It doesn't talk about the economic development of a nation. So this does not talk about economic development. Smuggling ought to be curbed. Yes, smuggling need to be curbed, but uh, it's not heavily talking about the smuggling need to be curbed. It's, it's talking more of the smuggler's profit here. So this statement is very much talking about smuggler profit. Why people are attracted? Why people are attracted to smuggling? It's because there is a lot of profit. It has to be curbed, but yes, it is not talking because it is not talking the side effects of the smuggling. This paragraph is not talking about side effects. Side effects mean bad effects of the smuggling. That country is uh, economic development is there uh, is not happening, or there are some other problems because of the smuggling. So this paragraph does not talk about it. So it ought to be curbed, but not talking much about it. C. Authorities are taking strict measures to curb smuggling. Yes, looks somewhat good. Looks somewhat good. Yes, authorities are doing their action. 
are taking strict measures to curb, but not that much. Because still, if that if he if enforcement director is taking strict action and they are making huge losses to smugglers, then they will not do this. If there is a huge loss, then their efforts are waste, then smugglers will not do this. But there it is saying that these losses of the smugglers are less. So authorities are not doing very strict action. A small strict action, small actions are there, but not very strict actions. So it's somewhat okay, not very good. Smuggling is fast increasing in our country owing to quick profit it entails. Yes, it is definitely talking about that there is a lot of profit. That's why people are doing this smuggling. So, the answer is D that this paragraph talks about smuggling is fast increasing in our country due to quick profit. Every time he is talking about profit, enormous profit, made huge profit. And smuggling is fast increasing. So involved in lot of people are involved in it. Okay, so let's see some more theme questions in the next chapter.